Hello there again my friends, this is a boy and his dog and welcome to the channel where I play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's video we continue our pictures of the EXP Capcom collection with the second game, 1943. Let's take a butchers. The Super Ace returns with new missions in the shoot 'em up sequel to 1942. 1943 The Battle of Midway is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up developed by Capcom and released in the arcades in 1987 and this is another perfect game for Tate mode on the EXP. It has in almost every way improved on the previous title. Now instead of one hit kills you have a fuel gauge that doubles as health but only the single life. Not only can you still loot, but you can also now deploy a powerful mega crush attack, but at the cost of fuel, aka health. The number of power ups, the power icon, will give you more fuel which equals in more health and bomb opportunities, but shoot the power icon and it may change into shotgun, scatter shot or machine gun fire. You can even get two tiny planes to fly alongside for extra fire power like in the original. All are great for different situations. The graphics are vastly superior, as is the sound, and the controls are as smooth and awesome as 1942. Now, there are only 16 stages, but most stages are split into two. You begin high above the clouds for the first half, then in the second you swoop down to take on increasingly insanely kitted out battleships. And at first I thought this was actually rather cool. But even with half the amount of stages in 1942, my excitement at this half did dwindle after a while. I began to think, oh shit, a battleship stage. And I tell you why. <laughs> Unlike the previous entry where you always felt you had a chance, here it gets absolutely ridiculous the further into the game you go. To the point you have to use the Mega Crush repeatedly or you ain't gonna clear the boat enough for it sails past. Equally, if you only have the basic gun type, you're kinda fucked. Also, unlike the previous entry, this game doesn't have checkpoints, so when it gets really insane you kind of start spamming the credits button, and I loved in the original how it forced you to learn and overcome each section, even with unlimited credits and save states to get through. So I miss that here. Obviously on a single credit challenge this game will be a different beast entirely, and one I don't think I could ever hope to manage getting any way through. <laughs> So yeah, it's a bit weird. Like I said at the start, it has in almost every way improved upon the original except one thing. I just don't like it as much as 1942. There's just something about the simplistic beauty of the first, even when it was at its most buggersome, there was always a way through. Here I felt like I kind of just bulldozed through, there was no way I could have defeated some of those battleships without constant uses of the Mega Crush, and maybe an extra credit or two to refill my fuel to deploy even more Mega Crushes. Don't get me wrong, I still think this is a banging good time, it just didn't bring me back to it as often as the Mighty 1942 did. Probably in part because of the lack of checkpoints, so I breeze through, and the later battleships are damn annoying. I was surprised by my own feelings in the end. When I started playing, I thought I would end up liking it as much or even more so than the original, but it was not the case. It's funny how things turn out. But I must stress, this is not a huge complaint on the game. I had an absolute blast going through it. It's so damn good, I just prefer the first. I wonder what I'll think of 1944. And if you made it here to the end of the video, thank you ever so much for joining me. Leave a thumbs up or a comment if you'd like. Either way, I'm just chuffed you poked your head in to take a gander. As always, I hope you have an awesome day, my friends. Be seeing you.